Hello, everyone. This is Independent Conservative. I am Ryan Bowden. Thank you all for joining me. So Mayor, New York Mayor Eric Adams is facing some serious, serious backlash from the Hispanic uh, residents of his city. OK, he's been pandering to them. And yet the disapproval rating among Hispanics is huge in the city of New York. So I'm going to read you guys this uh, opinion piece from uh, John Nolte. This is an opinion piece that I'm reading to you. So it is his own, his own personal opinion about this. And I want to give you guys my opinion on this. But you just can't pander to groups of people. You have to give them what they need. Give them what they need and what they want and quit with all the pandering, bro. So let's get right into this. Um, yeah, yeah. It, Eric Adams is facing some, he's facing some problems here, man. <laughs> he's been getting it hard. Uh, the article starts off, despite annihilating his city to pander to Hispanic voters, New York Mayor Eric Adams, and this is what the editor, this is the editor's words, or this is the writer's words for this article, D for dummy, he has, approval rating is lowest among Hispanics. In this week's poll, uh, uh, Adams is already facing a dismal overall approval rating of just 28%. The internals are even more interesting. No racial group is more unhappy with Sanctuary City Eric than Hispanics. Here's the breakdown of the approval and the approve and disapprove numbers when registered voters were asked, do you approve or disapprove of the way Eric Adams is handling his job? Now, listen to this. This is according to uh, this uh, writer of this article's um, <laughs> uh, numbers. She says uh, blacks, and this disturbs me, blacks 48% approve. 38% disapprove. Blacks ought to always be the ones to approve them. They always got to be the ones to approve them the most. I wonder why. When you see all these negative things happen, I wonder why. But anyway. And then, it's, then he breaks it down with men. Men, 38% to 58%. Or 38% approve, 58% disapprove. Okay, Whites, 28% to 61%. Women, 26% to 59%. Asians, 22% to 60%, and Hispanics, 20% to 65%. But, but, but for the last two decades, we've been assured that flooding America with unvetted third world illegal aliens was the only way to capture the heart of the oh so precious Hispanic voter. I'm so confused. For those of you who think Hispanic disapproval of Adams has something to do with all the other horrors like crime, homelessness, inflation, schools, etc., that Democrat-run city, that Democrat-run city is dealing with thanks to its stupid voters. Let me assure you, it's not. I didn't say stupid voters. The editor said stupid voters. Okay. When asked specifically about illegal aliens, do you approve or disapprove of the way Eric Mayor Adams is handling the surge of migrants seeking sanctuary in New York City? Adams is upside down. Forty-three percent, forty-three points with Hispanics. Only twenty-five percent approve while 68% disapprove. Only Asians, 21 to 65%, poll lower on this question. Okay, then it says, while Adams is upside down 43 points with Hispanics, he is upside down 40 points with whites, 25% approve, 65% disapprove. So, whites are three points happier than Hispanics on the question of this illegal immigration surge. But, but, but you told me opposition to allow unvetted third world freeloaders was white supremacy. Black New Yorkers are not much happier. 37% approve, 57% disapprove. With the overall New York population of the legal question, only 26% approve while 66% disapprove. I'm a tad confused on one point. Why are New York, New York voters unhappy with their mayor is delivering everything these voters voted for? Let me read it again. I'm a tad confused on one point. Why are New York voters unhappy when their mayor is delivering everything these voters voted for? Adams made no secret that he approved of keeping the city of New York a sanctuary city and welcoming illegals with, quote, open arms. What I mean is, if you don't like having your city invaded by tens of thousands of unvetted third world illegal look, look, illegals looking for handouts, why not vote differently? Ha, 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 idiots. His words. Watching New Yorkers get what they vote for fills my heart with joy and only helps me to appreciate where I live and safe, clean, MAGA country all the more. Let me tell you exactly how this ends. 
Even as their city dies, these dummies keep right on voting for Democrats. I mean, <laughs> you want my sympathy? You can find all my sympathy right here. And he talks about getting a free copy of autograph, book, and whatever. But anyway, that's the end of the article right there. But you know what? <laughs> as Brandon, I'm going to borrow a little saying from Brandon T. Tatum. Tatum always said, is it, is there, is there, isn't it true? Is there a line that, you know? Uh, and, and that's true. I mean, you got to ask the question. Is this, this, the writer of this article's opinion piece that I just read to you guys, is there any lie in that? You know, even though this is the city of, of New York, clearly they're facing some serious problems there. And evidently, according to what he read, according to what the uh, writer is saying here, is that the Hispanics have the highest disapproval rating of him. So, I mean, look, you know, at the end of the day, it does come down to who you vote for. If you have a politician telling you right up front during his campaign that this is a sanctuary city, we're open to all these illegals. He may not say, he or she may not say illegals and we don't know who they are. They're not going to say it that way. <clears throat> they're going to say it in a way that's appealing. But they're right, they're telling you right in your face what they're all about. They're telling you we're going to defund the police because the police are abusive and horrible and they're racist against blacks. And I'm, I'm sorry, but if you're dumb enough to believe that, you're dumb enough to believe anything. Now, that's my word. They're, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, these illegals, you know, we're just so kind and nice. We have so much compassion and we're going to let them in here. OK, they're telling you right out in your face what they're going to do. They're telling you. If a person votes for these individuals in spite of all that they said that they're going to do and you vote for them and expect to get different results then maybe you maybe that person is i ain't gonna say nobody on here because i don't believe anyone's watching this video is that that that, that blind then maybe you are what what john northy said in an article maybe you are a little dumbfounded or whatever because the old saying goes, you can't if you keep doing the same thing and expecting different results, that's that's insanity. You can't keep voting for the same politicians and expecting different results. If you keep voting for these progressive Democrats, if you keep voting for them and you claim you value law and order. And you keep voting for politicians that encourage and push and promote policies that are the opposite of what your values are and you expect to get different, you are insane. Why is that a problem? Why is that an issue? I'll tell you why it's an issue with people. It's an issue with them because they know it's true and people don't like the truth. You can't handle the truth, okay? That's basically what it is. People don't like to be told the truth. I, I sense that oftentimes they know that is true. They're just not humble enough to admit, you know what? I messed up. I effed up. I voted for the wrong person. I voted for a pot. I voted for these knucklehead Democrats, Democrat Democrats. I voted for these knucklehead Democrats and they keep pushing the same agenda. They keep pushing the same policies and I voted for it. And now I'm getting this craziness. Now I'm not saying the Republicans are any different. A lot of these Republicans, Republicans are virgin on the left themselves. But I would have to argue that if you had a choice between the two, you probably, probably would be better off with a Republican. Even though these, a lot of these Republicans are feckless, fearful, and they just as, some of them are just as nasty, you would probably have a better chance with a Republican in terms of dealing with law and order in your city and in your state than you would one of these Democrats. And now for Eric Adams to pander to Hispanics, you know, and all this pandering and stuff to do all this type of stuff and then do the opposite. You know, it's insane. That doesn't work. Pandering doesn't work. OK, because it seems to show me that these Hispanics and anyone really, when you look at it, are seeing the results of the policies put forth by these Democrats in cities all over this country. They are seeing it. They're feeling it. They're smelling it. You, you know, everything. There's no hiding behind it. 
they're seeing this and they're like, wait a minute, hold on, man. You you guys can pander all day. You can get your you can get a rap artist to sing to us and rap and all that. You can say all this kind of other stuff. None of that matters, man. What matters is my life. What matters is when I leave out of my house, you know, to go to work, whether it's in the morning, whether it's in the evening, whatever, that I'm going to be relatively safe. Doesn't mean you're not going to be safe in a Republican city. Doesn't mean that those have they have crime too. Let's be realistic. Okay. But let's be even real realistic. Most of the crime and the high crime rates are mostly in Democrat-led cities. And partly it's because, if not only, it's because of the policies, soft on crime policies pushed in those cities initiated by Democrats. Period. Bottom line. And it, 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 so, I, so people are feeling and seeing what they voted for they're feeling it they're seeing it and 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 they're leaving out of their houses and they're experiencing high crime they're experiencing all kinds of corruption and they're looking and they're seeing and experiencing it. they're like wait a minute uh, no no I don't want this I don't want this I don't want this Eric Adams whoever else I don't want this I, I don't want this sir I don't want you, I, you need to you need to, you need to, you need to stop trying to pander to me when you pander to someone, you're not really meeting their needs. You know what pandering means? Let me read it to you. That way you won't know I'm making it up. To pander means to please other people by doing or saying what you think they want you to do or say. Let me say that again. To please other people by doing or saying what you think they want you to do or say. <laughs> That's pandering. I'll give you what you think, you know, I'll give you what you think I, I, I want you to. I'll give it to you. I'll give you what, you what I think you want me to say. Has nothing to do with actually meeting your needs. I'm just saying things based on your emotions. So I, I'll just say it. So clearly this is what Eric Adams has been doing. And the Hispanic population in this city ain't happy about it. But. We got time. We, we got we got a lot of time on, on our we got a lot of time left. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Hopefully people will start changing their voting habits. But to be honest with you, and maybe I'm being pessimistic here, to be honest with you with you, I don't think it's gonna really change. And I don't and, and this is what I mean in, in summing up this video. I don't think it's gonna change among blacks. I know that sounds pessimistic. I know that sounds negative. I know people hate on me for that. Well, you always peeking, putting black people down. Well, if black people act like they got sense, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put them down. I'm not putting you down anyway. I'm just exposing the reality. Part of the problem in the black community, yeah, I'm getting on the black side. Well, I was talking about the Hispanics, but I got to get on them because they had the highest approval rating of all of them. <laughs> I mean, or, or at least on the first poll they did. Why? Because he's black? You know, I mean, come on. Unfortunately, it seems to me that blacks are going to, by default or whatever, I don't know if they're under mind control or what, they're going to vote Democrat. They've been doing this stuff for decades. And it doesn't seem like it's going to ever change. And because of that, blacks, particularly in the inner city, are going to stay in the same rut day after day, month after month, year after year, and they're going to hoop and holler and cry and fart and poo and get mad and protest and get angry and this and that and the other. And the politicians are going to sit back and lick their chops and fold their arms and know and, and, and they're going to know, OK, these blacks doing all this fussing and complaining, but they're the ones put us in office. They're the ones voted for us. See, the politicians, the Democrat politicians know that these black people that's fussing and complaining about all these illegals and this, that, and the other, they know that it was the blacks that put them in, helped to put them in office. They know that. They know that. They know that. But they're not going to change. You want to know why they're not going to change? I'm talking about the Democrats, too. I'm talking about Democrats. Democrat politicians. They're not going to change because they don't have to change. All they need to do is pander to black people. Pander to people who want handouts. That's all they need to do. They don't need to change nothing. Because when push comes to shove, when the, new, when, the, when the crap hits the fan and push comes to shove and it comes time to actually vote, 
all this fussing and complaining and woo-woo and wah wah that blacks was doing, they're going to go right to the poll and they're going to put their vote in for the Democrat. Every single time. I don't want to hear it. Until there is a mass exodus of blacks. And I'm not talking about little pockets here and pockets there that I see in videos trying to make it seem like it's... That's cool. I get it. But until I see a mass exodus of blacks saying we're not going to vote for Democrats anymore, then I'll get a little happier. Then I'll get more positive. But until then, I don't want to hear it. It's, it's, it's a facade to me. It's a Trojan horse. I don't see it happening. The black community, particularly in the inner cities, something extremely drastic has to happen to them based on democratic policies for them to wake up in mass and say, you know what, we got to get off of this plantation because these democratic politicians with their policies are killing us without killing us physically. I'm just saying, think about it. Think about it. But to end this video on this, yeah, Hispanics, they ain't having it either with Eric Adams. They ain't having it either. Let's hope that's what blacks in mass do as well. Let's hope that blacks say, we ain't having it. We ain't having it, Democrats. We're through with you guys. And, and, and the mass of them, by the millions, say, we're not going to do it. I hope that that's, 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 that's going too, kind of going too far with a lot of people, but that's, that's where I see it. Other than that, they're going to keep doing the same thing. Until they say we've had enough. So that's my words on it. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all. See you again.